So village transformation, something that hasn't totally been done a million times on YouTube, but this time, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a steampunk village transformation. So it's not an ordinary, <laughs> it's still the same. Anyway, here are some numbers that will make you subscribe and well, without further ado, let's roll the time lapse. This village transformation I found this taiga village that was generated on top of some hills and for some reason I found it perfect for my steampunk village transformation because when I see some steampunk houses and imagine them I usually imagine them on some hills and like on the edges of the cliffs so it was basically perfect. So for now I just needed to clear out some trees and I started planning everything and well planning more like roughly placing wool around than planning. <laughs> so at first I wanted to terraform everything and prepare it for my steampunk builds, but because I don't like terraforming I kinda gave up after 10 minutes of doing it and I jumped to designing and building my steampunk houses. So my general plan for this transformation was to have a very tall foundation and just put a simple styled house on top. So in general just have tall houses and I really liked how it worked out. I felt like it is perfect for a steampunky village house. Now for the villagers professions I did some workshops and for the workshops I also included some gears because well they will be using some machines and gadgets to help them repair and prepare certain things for their professions that they need to like maybe repairing tools or maybe just scamming you off of your emeralds because you know that's that's what villagers do. <laughs> Now, as you can see, I've also used a combination of warped wood with acacia to create this like copper roof, which I really liked and I've used it a lot across this transformation. So while looking at this footage, I feel like I maybe overdid it a little bit because I went from the cobblestone house with some logs on top to these big houses with some pipes and a lot of machineries and well in the end I think that is to be expected from the steampunk transformation even though at some point as you can see I managed to build like a very small workshop and this was a mason workshop and I was thinking of reverting everything back at this point but in the end uh, as you can as you can tell I just I just gave up I really liked those tall houses so I wanted to keep them as they were Now also because I felt like if I used the tall houses too much, this village would feel like a bootleg skyscraper metropolis of some kind. So to balance things out I also built a few very short houses. Or let's say sh shorter than the tall ones, <laughs> just to balance things out a little bit. Now in the middle of the village I had this hill and I planned to have some kind of a town hall or a meeting hall there but I didn't know 
how it will look like. So I started planning it with wool and I was really happy that I managed to get the shape right on the first try. And I'm also real happy that I managed to make it look important, mainly because I just added a clock tower to it so that made it look like something important in a village. And well, at this point I was almost done with everything. I just added a little house on the side, I've also built a little shack and I've also created this little power plant for the village that supplying village with all the power it needs and it has this big chimney with a lot of small chimneys so it's you know releasing a lot of smoke in the environment and the last thing that I did was a little airship station and well at this point you know transformation was done only thing left to do was to transform the environment around it and well that's the thing that I didn't record and I kinda regret not recording anyway let's see the finished transformation So, like I said, I kind of regret not, you know, recording me tidying everything up and terraforming because that would have made for a really good looking time lapse. But in the end, uh, this turned out very nicely. Now, this airship, firstly, I built it a long time ago and I just pasted it here to fill in the background of this village and I made it look like it's going towards the village. And well, during the showcase of everything or of the finished village, you may also saw that I had copper applied. So I swapped this bootleg copper for the real copper texture and it was something like this. So it looked like this and with that I could have seen or I can see, not could have, I can see how the you know copper roof would look like with real you know copper textures and i really like it it looks very very much better than my bootleg use of the warped and acacia wood together to create a copper texture and i really like it i really like how this village turned out there's a lot of small things that i didn't talk about like this like ravine let's say that i wanted to have a lot of little shacks in but in the end i kind of didn't do it because i just wanted to finish this there is a lot of different things like pipes going around, little like boilers let's say, like here and behind here, this is a really nice one. With the copper textures it really looks interesting. One thing that I would like to have is like a copper trap door, so I don't need to use acacia. Even though maybe I will use more acacia for the pipes than the copper, but either way, it's really nice. That's the only thing I can't wait for 1.17 to be able to play with those. Actually, I can play with that in snapshots. Why am I, why am I kind of stupid? Anyway, there is a lot of little things I wanted to work on and I could work on this like forever. Like for example, I want to add a little like connection over here that will have some banners or some other things like hanging down and this would make this street look very very interesting but as I said if I did all those little things I would like continue building this like for forever so I hope you enjoyed this little transformation now if you want to explore this for yourself I'll be opening up patreon just for this it's gonna include just one tire and it's going to be around 3 to 5 euros to download this 
And it's not going to include only this like steampunk village transformation I did. It also has almost every single build I did over the years. So you're gonna have every single other steampunk build and everything else I did. So you can explore it or maybe, you know, you can, you can grief it make it explode. If you do that, do tag me on Twitter at BoyLuyo, or maybe you can share it on my new Discord server that I just opened. So for both of those things, the Patreon and the Discord, don't expect anything special from them yet because I'm still working on them and over the time I'm going to make them a little bit better and the links for both of those things you can find them in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video and well that next video is going to be like next year knowing my upload schedule I, I hope it's not going to be next year. Either way see you then and well have a re nice rest of your day. I almost forgot here take some take some worn out copper it's it's actually it's actually warped wood